Hallo alle miteinander, willkommen zu Tag 26. In other words, hello there and welcome to day 26 of my 30 over 30 challenge. This time I'm doing German in 30 days and you and I will both all gonna see how far I can get in that time. What are we gonna do today is the question. Well, last time, yesterday, to be more precise, we've done Präteritum. Boy, I like saying that stuff. Präteritum, which means past tense. Very, very useful, but a lot to remember yet again. I'm still working on that. I'm still working on that. Um, it's gonna take some time. So today I wanna take it a little slower, a little easier, but still cover something that I find very, very useful. And I've been told actually that is useful because if you learn the different persons for those verbs, it's gonna be verbs, spoilers, sorry. Um, they will help you sort of guess how to work with other verbs that are to come in their different forms. So let's check it out, shall we then? I'm not gonna stand today. I'm sorry guys, I'm very tired from a very long day. So I'm gonna stay right here, but we wanna talk about something important. So let's start with this. Yes, of course, this is our basic eight. And when I was thinking about these verbs, the basic age verbs, I was thinking, what is the most useful? Now, some people, when I was doing the research for this, suggested that I start with modals, but I did not because I discovered that these basic eight uh, work the best for me, really, and so I wanted to start with those. But modals is precisely what I want to do and cover today. Modal verbs, here they are in all their glory. Apparently, there's just six of them in German, which is great news. For us, after all the cases and the personal pronouns and the different combinations, this is kind of a relief. Of course, these are just the basic forms, just the infinitives. So, you know, expect more of those in their different forms to come in the future. But for now, I'm really happy there's just six of them. And even better, we know most of them, don't we? So let's check them out. We have dürfen, können, mögen, müssen, sollen and wollen. So we know wollen, wollen, sollen, müssen, können. Four out of six, that is pretty good if I dare say so myself. So the extra ones are dürfen and mögen. And you might be wondering, why do we need modal verbs? Well, apparently there are great starting point for mastering all the different verbs in their different forms. Because if you learn these six, then there's a certain way they work within the casing system, within the cases and personal pronouns. And they, they can be used to guess very accurately if you know you learn a new verb, if I learn a new verb and you don't know, you're not entirely sure how to work with it. If it resembles one of these verbs, the greatest guess is to just follow that. Oh, in case you missed that, dürfen means to be allowed to, können means to be able to, mögen means to like, müssen is of course must, sollen is of course should, and wollen is of course to want. These are modal verbs and that will be it for today. That's right. I want to keep this nice and short and sweet. I don't want to get into those cases and personal pronouns and all the craziness. Who knows? This is plenty for today. So if you have anything you want me to cover, if you have anything else you want to say, leave it down in the comment section below. These modals, they come recommended as very, very useful. So I'm going to trust my friends and I'm going to follow up on that. But this will be it for today, certainly and shortly and sweetly, yes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this episode. And if you did, please hit the like button down below. And if you want to see some more videos, hit the subscribe button and you will surely get the next one. If you like it, share it, comment on it. I appreciate all of it. It really helps me out. So that's it. Thanks again. I hope I'll see you tomorrow and you take care.